Hey y'all, it's Dorothy from PreppingYourStep.com and today I thought it would be fun to film a video for y'all since it is the start. Well, I guess it's not the start of the new year, but we're a month in and it is of my first favorites post of the new year. So if you go to my blog, which is www.preppingyourstep.com, you'll see this post all typed out, but I thought that doing a video component would also be fun. So if you are finding me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. I'd like to upload more frequently. I can't make any promises, but I'm really hoping to have that kind of as a goal for this year. And if you're on my blog, then thanks for stopping by. But I'm going to go ahead and talk through the products I've been loving this month and hopefully it won't be too long. But I'd also love for you, if you're on YouTube, to leave a comment and even if you're on my blog, to leave a comment saying some things that you've been loving or things you think that I should try out that I would also love based on what I'm going to show you. So, for starters, I'm really just going in the most random order and I realized that some of my favorites, I guess, are not something I can show you. But this one is, it is oatmeal. For whatever reason, I had convinced myself that I needed to like oatmeal, and I had tried it a number of times, and I just really did not like it. And then in January, I ended up picking, or I guess at the beginning of January, I ended up picking some up, and now I crave it all the time. So this is Publix brand, just maple and brown sugar oatmeal. I think that Publix brand is better than Quaker's. I just finished a box of the Quaker oatmeal, and I actually prefer this because of the size of the oats, if we're gonna get technical. Um, and I just put enough milk to cover the amount of oatmeal that is in the bowl, and then microwave it for a minute and 30 seconds, and put a little cinnamon on top, and it's so good. I find myself going to sleep, really excited for it in the morning, or if I want it as an afternoon snack, I'll put a couple of chocolate chips on top and let them melt. And it's kind of nice to have it on hand and have kind of a warm snack to go to instead of the typical afternoon snack. So really, really loving this as random as it is. My next favorite is a book that I talked about in a blog post. I think I've talked about it in two of my Step Into My Week blog posts, but it is the five minute journal and it is so good. Positive who makes it, but basically it's to switch your mindset to be more gracious for what you have. So you fill it out twice a day. You fill it out in the morning first thing and then you fill it out at night as well. So the top section says I'm grateful for what would make today great and daily affirmation meaning like I am and then you insert a statement so you list three things you're grateful for three things that would make your day great and then something that you are and so I do that every morning um, when I get back in bed after getting fully ready to do my like devotion time um, and I add that into at that time and then I do it right before I go to bed so I'll Right in this, the nightly section, which says three amazing things that happened today. How could I have made today even better? Um, and I do that right before I set my alarm and fall asleep. So it's been really fun to fill out, and I've been wanting to stick to a daily journal for a while. But the one line a day that I was doing, um, or some of the other ones I was doing, weren't consistent enough for my liking and I'm either all in or all out and with this one fortunately I've been all in but it's been really great because it has definitely made me a little bit more positive and it fits with my word of the year which is gratitude. My next favorite is probably the most exciting thing that has happened to me this month and that is a new role I'm taking on. So if you don't know I'm a fourth grade teacher. I'm currently in grad school for my master's in early childhood education I like to blog every weekday and so, you know, because I wasn't doing enough, I decided that I wanted to take on a social media management position. So this is a small position with the cutest PR company. Um, they're called LBH PR Co. and they're based out of St. Simons Island, Georgia. And I just love all of the clients she had and we connected because she went to Furman, Lauren, um, the owner of the company did, and somehow it just kind of spiraled into this new position for me. So. I am officially taking over the Instagram on February 1st, so if you want to follow along there, I'm going to leave the link below because I will be in charge of all of that. And so basically, because I figured that I needed more tangible things to show you, um, my iPad has been great for that, and then I even treated myself to a cute kind of agenda. It's not an agenda. A cute notebook um, from Anthropology with a gift card, and have been storing all my notes in there, and I'm really, really thrilled to see where this goes. Uh, and a little side note, a little extra thing for the YouTube video. Let's see. App I've been loving, especially if you're interested in PR or like brand management, something of that sort, is Plan, P-L-A-N-N. -N. It's awesome. It lets you see your entire Instagram feed. Of course, now it's not loading. 
all right here and rearrange pictures and go ahead and put captions for them and hashtags and everything else and then it's so easy to just post. So this is what the app looks like. I am not logged in currently but it's really cool because I like the feed that I'm working with for her to look really kind of put together especially with all of these different client images and this get envision what it's actually going to look like when it's on the Instagram feed. So that's kind of a bonus one for those of you watching this YouTube video. Next up is something I got for Christmas from one of my best friends and it's this really cute pair of tortoise hoop earrings. They are a light tortoise color, especially with dark hair. I wanted something that was actually going to show up and this pair was highly hinted at to my friend and she ended up snagging them for me and then I think she also got herself a pair. Um, I think I wore them in the last video I filmed but I'm not sure if you can really tell from a distance but in person they look really pretty. They're kind of subtle which I appreciate since most of the time I'm usually wearing studs or I'll wear these gold hoops on occasion but I thought this was a fun way to kind of mix up my everyday jewelry and this pair is pretty affordable which is great. I have one beauty item that I've been really loving this month and that is this charcoal cleansing bar from beauty counter i'm obsessed with beauty counter it has done so much good for my skin and this is a product that i started using this month after hearing so much about it and i've seen a big difference just in the way my skin feels and also the way it looks so basically you just take this bar and you get it wet and then you i guess lather it and rub it on your face um, and then once you're taking off all that water and the residue from the charcoal bar, your skin feels really tight, which may sound like a weird sensation to enjoy, but it feels really refreshing. I definitely cleared up some spots I've had on my face, and I think that this, along with some of my other Beauty Counter products, has really changed my skincare. So if you don't know about Beauty Counter, I'm a huge fan. I'll link the post that I've done about the brand below, especially if you're interested in switching to safer skincare, but this is definitely my favorite product from them for this month. Another Christmas present I've been loving seems a bit silly to have asked for another one since I already have two of these tote bags, but I didn't have a fall or winter kind of style of this tote bag, and it is this Axis print tote bag from Barrington Totes. It is so roomy. The material is kind of like a nylon um, and it's completely customizable. You can get so many different prints and styles of this bag. And I have a cute gingham one and then also like a neutral eye cat one. And I love them as a tote bag, especially for work. But this one I feel like I have been trying to transition to use not just for my school tote because I think it's really cute. So it has three pockets on the inside in the front part and then a giant zipper pocket in the back and I like that the straps are pretty long um, that definitely makes it helpful when I stuff it full which is very frequently and then another great aspect about this tote is that the bottom is leather so it's not going to get as worn or as noticeably worn as some of the other tote bags that I've used for years so this has been my go-to and I don't foresee myself stopping until I can start using one of my less fall and wintry totes. Alright, so another, I guess, experience for y'all, but I decided that in January I was going to do a no spin January, and my friend Sophia and I both made a 101 and a 1001 list, and basically what that entails is that you come up with 101 things that you want to do in a 1001 days. So I started my list in July of 2016, and I have until August, no, I have until April of 2019 to finish it. And so at the beginning of this month, I decided, okay, goal setting, great, I'll do all of that. But I also want to add in two different things from that list to start accomplishing a little bit more as that deadline, I guess, starts approaching, even though I have over a year. So that was something on my list that I chose to do. And Sophia actually had it on her list as well, so she did it. And with all of the snow days we've been having, it was especially hard not to want to online shop, but I did a pretty good job. So that was interesting to kind of see where my money's going even though I mean I pay attention to that but paying attention a little closer to what things in my closet am I reaching for most and where do I feel like there's a lack so that when I do start spending money again on things that aren't food and groceries I kind of know where I need to target that instead of just buying things for the sake of oh this is really cute so it definitely made me think more about purchases and I am glad that I did it but I'm also glad that it's coming to an end because there are so many cute things that I really want to purchase but hopefully I'll show a little bit of self-restraint with that as well. Next is the sweatshirt top that I've worn in a bunch of blog posts and also in my previous video. You probably couldn't really see it that well in that video but it is this white 
flare sleeve sweatshirt top from Anthropology. I originally saw it in a pale pink and I loved it in that color, but when I got it in the mail, I realized that it completely washed me out. So after seeing it on a friend in white, I was like, okay, I still love the style. Maybe I'll try a different color. And I did, and I'm so happy I did because it looks really cute with jeans, but it also looks great when you're putting on leggings and a pair of like slip-on shoes or even tennis shoes. Um, it's super comfortable and it's thick enough where it feels kind of like a sweater, so you don't feel like you have to have tons of jackets over top if it's not too cold but I have been wearing this non-stop. And my last favorite is this really cute personalized pet mug from one of my favorite artists, Evelyn Henson, who is also a Furman grad, and she makes a series of these pet portraits, and you can go onto her website and choose one of the portraits that looks the most like your dog, and then you can customize the name at the bottom. So since we got a new dog, over my Christmas break and I really miss her and I'm really excited to visit her soon. I decided that I could start my morning with her face on a mug. So that's exactly what I did. I decided that this dog looked the most like Scout and I think that now that Scout's getting bigger it's even more and more true. So I decided that that's what I wanted and it's a really big mug compared to some of her other mugs and I've been absolutely loving it. It's given me a little taste of home even though I'm eight hours away. So that is all for this favorites video. I'm sorry if the lighting got really weird. It is currently almost six o'clock. Where did the day go? So I had to do this right after school, but thanks for bearing with me on that aspect. And I hope that you'll choose to stick around and check out the blog and my Instagram and LBHPR Co's Instagram so that we can stay in touch with one another. Um, and definitely leave me any comments of things you think I should try or your favorites below because I would love to hear. I hope to be back with another video super soon so if you have any requests leave those below as well but you can always check out blog posts each weekday at www.prepandearspath.com if you're missing me too much here and I hope to see you over there.